How's it going everyone? I'm Sean from 603 Bass and this episode of Bass Fishing Quick Tips we're going to cover some of my most prolific baits for ice out bass fishing. Before we get started, if you do me a favor, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like on it, subscribe if you haven't, drop a comment down below if there's anything you want me to elaborate on, and if you do subscribe, please turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos coming up after this. Starting with my number one go-to bait, spider jig. I typically fish it on a 3 8 ounce football jig with a brush guard because I tend to fish it in kettle ponds the most right in immediate ice out, and there's a decent amount of vegetation where I like to fish. 3 8 ounce is my most common, sometimes I'll go to a half ounce, and I'll always start with a black with blue flake color combo. Now sometimes it will throw a very dark green pumpkin with a black flake, but that black and blue is just hard to beat. In that same vein, if I want something a little bit bulkier, I'll go with just a straight skirted football jig. More often than not for this, I'll go with a half ounce, but sometimes I'll go 3 8 ounce as well. Now for a trailer on this, I will use a Zoom Super Chunk Junior is my most commonly used trailer. When I'm fishing very, very cold water with these bottom contact baits, I don't want a ton of action. I just want the profile. And that has worked very, very well for me over the years. Now you absolutely cannot go wrong either with a hair jig. What really works so well about a hair jig is how the hair seems to have a natural breathing action to it when it's just sitting there. So this bait works extremely well when the water is very cold still, the bass are super lethargic, and you want something that almost looks living while it's just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Another thing that's been working exceptionally well for me, a very small swim bait and a light head. The heaviest I will go on this when we're talking ice out bass fishing is 3 8 ounce, but I've gone down to even 1 8 ounce a lot of the times too. I'm doing the same thing as I'm doing with my jigs. I'm looking for steep banks, um, transitional areas from those deep wintering holes up to shallow flats where they can warm up in the spring. Bottom contact, I'm not swimming it. I'm working it very, very slow, long pauses. Black and blue works really great. A very dark green pumpkin with a black flake in it works killer. You're gonna get bit often just on the pause. Work it very, very slow. It's gonna work great for you. Moving away from those bottom contact baits to moving baits, both largemouth and smallmouth, it is really hard to beat a red lipless crankbait. What I like to do with that is just yo-yo it. You know, I'm trying to snap it up a little bit, let it fall. Snap it up a little bit, let it fall, and continue that. And sometimes I'll sweep the rod. But everything I do is small, slow, subtle movements. Give these fish a chance to catch up to that and inhale it. If I'm fishing areas where there's a lot more smallmouth, though this works great for largemouth too, you cannot overlook a blade bait and you can work it the same as a lipless crankbait. And obviously I cannot forget the suspending jerk bait. It's gotta be hands down one of the single best baits that you can be using for ice out bass fishing and well into the spring for that matter. I keep it pretty simple for my color selection. I throw some variation of a blue, something that looks very perchy and something that looks very much like a gill. I have a huge variety of different jerk baits that will cover anywhere from two to three feet to five to six feet, even down to 12 to 16 feet. It entirely depends on where I'm fishing and what the fish are doing. At this point in the year, I'm paying very close attention to my graph. And if I'm marking a ton of bass and bait that are suspended, I'm gonna pick up the jerk bait that gives me the confidence that's gonna get down right into that depth range where I'm seeing the bulk of the fish hanging out. Last but not least, and this is kind of on the tail end of ice out bass fishing, it's really hard to beat a bladed jig. And I've had great luck with both of these, although black and blue has been way better and more consistent than that red fire crawl. But this is more, you know, like kettle pond action where we're talking like two weeks after ice out and the water's warmed up pretty rapidly. Now it's kind of hovering closer to that 40, low 40 degree range. And you're working those transition areas, you know, anywhere from deep pocket to shallow spawn flat and anything that offers, especially vegetation, some sort of cover. Right in that transitional area, these things are phenomenal. Extremely hard to beat for ice out bass fishing. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video of Bass Fishing Quick Tips. I hope you guys all found that very helpful. If you did, please do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't, and share the video with friends, family, Facebook, Instagram, I don't care. Anything you guys can do is extremely helpful for us as we try to keep growing the channel. Thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you in the next video.